My name is Whack. They call me Whack anyway. Uh, last man standing? Was it Conestado for all together 10 years? No, I'm doing this one. How, do, you, do you think they kind of feel, does it feel like the same thing? or Same thing, yeah. Yeah. But not as more, not as more rush like it was back then. What do you mean? Like it was more, it was more rush last time? Yeah. Yep, more rush. <laughs> this is kind of like a mellow kind of rush. Yeah. Come before the storm. No, I agree. It feels very quiet. Like yeah. it feels relaxed. Nobody's stressing too uh, too much. Right. Like it's almost like it's happened a dozen times, times in the last fourteen years. It. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you? Uh, where are you staying these days? Uh, land back, the new spot now. And you got a tent there? Yeah, this tent. Dogs move right in. They take over my bed, but that's keep you warm though, right? <laughs> keep me warm. <laughs> yeah. It's muddy. I walk all the time. <laughs> what are you planning to do in the winter? What do you? Yeah. What are you gonna do in the winter? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> but you need something warm, yeah, or yeah, you looking... something warm or something? Or I'm still living in a tent. I can. I'm used to living in a tent. <laughs> but if, if that's all I got, that's all I got. But you're looking for some, it would be uh, you you would you welcome help in say people donating materials or yeah, helping sure. to build you a, yeah. a, a yeah, shack yeah. or a house i'm i'm game yeah if they are i am <laughs> <laughs> where would you put it some in the middle of the road no <laughs> <laughs> thinking <laughs> yeah, every good one what's oh, a great one uh i know probably a land back Get back there. <laughs> right on. And uh, can you introduce us to your dogs? Uh, young boy and Papa J. He's six months old. He's like three, four, five, maybe more. Have, have they been out with you here this whole time? Yep. Right She's been through 2000. Whenever the last time we was at Kilostato, she was. She was with me you know, for those three years. Yeah. Did so, seven by myself, and then I turned around and did three more. If you had a message for anybody that was seeing this about uh, what's happening and why it's happening, what would you say? Stay safe. <laughs> That's about it. I don't know. I can tell you. Try it. Try it out one time. I stayed a couple of days. Have you guys had lots of supporters here? Oh yeah, a whole bunch of them. Two more, two more just walked in. And two more just walked in with a couple bags. Yeah, two more supporters just walked in. I'm doing pretty good. I'm keeping my head out of water. Right on. Right. I don't want to go to jail quite yet. What is it that What is it that motivates you to uh, to be here and to spend the time on the land? It's the kids of the future. They're their kids. Everybody else's kids. Their future. Mine's almost done anyway. <laughs> I don't want them to end up doing this. They're going to be flipping out like everybody else. Yeah. I used to live there. No, you got to move on to a different, different spot to help the community out, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, help the people out. I got to do something good anyway for my life. Do you have a lot of uh, a lot of memories from this whole experience? I must imagine. Yeah, yeah. A lot of friendships and. Yeah, friends come and go. The That's lands. why I don't like making friends, man. Because they all leave. <laughs> That's right. Who I am is who I am. But the land stays. But the land stays, yeah. For somebody else to pick up. I don't know, I'll put this in the record book. See who can beat it. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you got? You got 10 years, 10 plus, years. plus 90 years, 90 days? 90 days, yeah, or whenever, yeah. Keep going. What's the best meal you've had out here? 
shit, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Can't complain. Yeah. Especially when everybody takes up on you for seven years and waiting to fucking get something fed and nobody don't come around. That's <laughs> about that. But I learned that. I'll keep it strong, man. This makes you stronger. That's all. Four grandkids, and when they get older, they're like three or four or five or something like that. So you're going to need your own street on Land Back Lane? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's up to them when they get older. I'll show them their roots if they want. All you got to do is stay up. <laughs> Would you say there's a, like a certain kind of spiritual energy to this land here? Yeah. Tell me about that. Horses and spirits walking around all the time. Morning and day, you, know, you can feel them walk, walk in there and everything. Walk out there. Yeah. And that those fields behind you there, that's where uh, there was all these. Uh, when the OPP raided, there was. Can you tell me that story about how they'd seen Indians on horses? Oh yeah, okay, okay. I woke up. I woke up, but he goes, "Hey man, you're right. Three days." I said, "All right." And we we went up to the back there. Then we went to turn to go out this way, but we seen a bunch of cops coming this way. Then me and my friend come walking up this way. And then that's when those cops said, I see him, I see him. Uh, they said, uh, dump your weapons and come out or something. Get your hands up. And I was like, what? You can just see them. The spirits, yeah. Riding the horses and shit, yeah. That's why I stayed at land back because I said, "Okay, man, show me something. If you don't show me something, man, I'm leaving." And then, about a week later, I heard horses in the back where those trees are, and I said, "Okay, I guess I'm staying." And then here I am. They were talking. <laughs> but yeah, gotta believe what you gotta believe, right? That's how I see it.